From behind the scenes with Super Future Director on the Captain America Begins movie. This is the 30 caliber machine gun I'm working on here. As you can see, I just got through hot gluing uh, inside the framework here. Let's see. Here's all the guns that will be used in the movie as well. And the uh, system, you know, where you, the hinge system on the top where you put the, you load the chain, bullet chain in there. All you gotta do is glue that. And then it'll be able to like a hinge open like that. I've been uh, putting some tape over this metal here. And this thing to tuck in the tape. Alright. Put some more tape right here on this metal part. Just got through painting it, uh, I set it up here to dry so I can get all angles. Running low, I think I'm pretty much out of that green spray paint, so uh, later I'll go over a little bit of black to make it look kind of dirty, I guess. Got a few more details like that, or two, along with this, maybe. You add more detail, make it look more like a gun instead of a box. Still functions properly, it's caught a little bit sometimes. You see there. Here I added a few more details of the metal uh, right there. It's a movable scope here. A little few details there. And I found some extra things I could probably add later. And a crank thing. So I've been trying to take this apart, but the uh, screws are too. Like I, I don't really have the right size screwdriver, so I'll have to figure out that later. And this I'll just hot glue to the bottom of the third cowl prop. And uh, that way it's detachable from the stand or tripod, old tripod that I'm not using right now. Uh, so that way it's detachable so I can, you know, just like a real one. And uh, as you can see, the problem is falling over so I might have to cut this leg piece off so I can extend this over here, like farther out. That way it's like a real one and um, it'll stand up easy and won't fall over. And then we gotta take this, trigger off this hose spray right here, connect it to the back and probably add this crank for like a reloading system like that. Turn to this fake uh, control board, I guess you could say. Got an old keypad here I got from Garasha a long time ago. Uh, this is just gonna be for a reference. Because I'm going to use special effects for my new uh, stock footage effects to add a fake like computer screen for the Captain America uh, control like thing for his super soldier serum. So first I have to melt off the hot glue that's on the bottom of this. Okay, got it. Now I just gotta trim it up a little bit. I should be able to get the bottom half off. Same with all the others. More of it's trimmed off, but it's more flat. With the screwdriver and see if that get it off. The black part that I don't need. anymore so I'll have to figure that out. Got it detached enough to where it actually still works. Now that they're all glued on I'm going to start cutting off all of these so I can put this right about there. And I'm working on the tripod for the 30 caliber. I got successfully cut this off with the jigsaw right here. I just had to figure out how to cut this off. So I can unscrew this because it's in the way. So I can remove this leg right here. 
and take off the thing that's stopping it from going any further. So first I have to cut through this metal thing right here. I'm not really sure how much. I'm successful at cutting it, so I'll replace it with a metal cutting blade, so finer cut there. The uh, problem is it's a little too short, so I may not be able to be long enough to cut through this, so we're going to get a different. Successfully cut through right there, the hacksaw, should have thought of that earlier. Now I can finally unscrew this, remove this, and take that part off so this leg can go out further. I got it out, there's a screw. Thing. You just gotta take this part off right here. Got it off. Now this should be able to move freely on the tripod, so I'll just reattach it. Part portion is ready, and I just gotta figure out how to connect these two together. I'm in the process of cutting the PVC pipe that will make it turn 360 and connect to the tripod. Drill a hole in the bottom of the uh, 30 cal so it can turn 360 and come on and off. Got most of the, the board done. Now I've, got, now I've got the hole right there and Right here, I'm gonna put the water hose in there. I'm gonna take this water hose old sprayer thing and I'm just gonna hot glue it in there. So it could be the handle of the 30 caliber. This is the completed version of the 30 caliber machine gun. I uh, just gotta add a reloading system on the side and it should be completed. But I got the stand on. Just having problems making it sit up correctly. So I'll have to figure out that out later. Right here I have the pieces that I'll be using for the reloading system. Which will go right about there, like that. I'm working on some uh, stick grenades used in World War II. I'm not really sure if I'll use this or like a tin can or some type of PVC pipe. Right now I'm just kind of experimenting on what it would look like and how big the canister should be. I also found some more electronics I could use for that control board right there. I'm getting ready to cut off some foam. Uh, Top and bottoms for the canisters that will go on the stick grenades. Props. Right, I'm ready. I just got through cutting out the holes that uh, the foam circles that will be used uh, to make the canisters look solid. But I haven't glued them in yet, so uh, first I got to cut a hole in one of them so the stick can go through the whole thing for extra support. Uh, so I'll do that and hot glue it all together. Uh, it's pretty much done now, except I still have to glue it. This is probably what it'll look like. And then I'll just paint it probably green or something, just the canister. So now I just have to glue everything together. So all three are done now. Uh, two of them are made for rough play, like this one. I think, yeah, this one. Uh, so they're extra supportive, but this one's meant for like really close-up details, so I made it removable That way uh, it looks more like a real one and I put like a fake wire thing in there Right there and make it look like a fuse or something So this is really meant for like details and like close-up stuff, but the other two are meant for like really rough play and throwing and stuff like that 